A lot of credits to be made around here lately, if you have the right skills. A lot of credits to be made around here lately, if you have the right skills. BAD, an automated droid vendor. I have in stock a variety of quality droid components, no refunds, and no haggling. Do you have any interest in my goods? Reinitializing complete. Greetings. Do you have any interest in my goods? That goes against my primary behavior programming. All items must be sold based on the most favorable market conditions. 1B AD cannot haggle. This is also a part of my primary behavior matrix. Market conditions all set to zero. All prices now set to base cost value. Do you have any interest in my goods? Master, do you have any interest in my goods? One B A D was built and programmed by Tolos the Trader. One B A D was built to buy droid components for below base cost value and sell components based on most favorable market conditions. Do you have any interest in my goods? Manja Yuma Lord Awata, no Samastika. The Wancha Mori Chiwa, Mufalawa, Nibobo, Wish, Yot, Una Sita, Dorjone Sobawata. The Hupa, Bosa Kurata, Bo Jujutu Yoki, Yata Yamba Wajiaki, Yukito Tune. 
Kuta Chivita Inca Kikraya Nachawanga Kone. Welcome back. My deck is still warm if you're up for Bazaar. Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk about? This room is reserved, off-worlder. <laughs> if you ask me, she got what she deserved. She looked down on us beast riders. Good riddance. I know his face, that's about it. His office is on Bekel's turf. She's a beast rider like me and her leader. You better never be speaking ill of her, or else. Nita manja yuma lorda wata no sanastika. Ah, 
da mwacha mori chiwa mufala wa ni bobo wishio tuna sita dorjo ni sobawata da upa go sakurata go jujutu yoki hiata yamba wajiaki yuki totune Punta chivita inca ki craya na chawanga cone. I won't remain silent any longer. The Republic has actively attacked us. They attack our spaceships unprovoked. What next? An invasion? Perhaps they seek to conquer us. Will you stand idly by? Will you let them bomb our city? No! If Queen Talia is so removed that she won't do what the people so clearly want, then we must show her with force. That's it, Ponlar. We're taking you in. You've gone too far. Brothers and sisters, let us rise up now and march to the palace! Our will cannot be denied! Sacrifices are inevitable, but it is the price of change! The time of patience is over. Let's show them our resolve with force! He's, He's right! right. Get Get your arms. Arms. Kill the Royalists! They're arming! We need backup. You, we could use your assistance. Try to disable them. If the mob grows, many more will die. Thank you, Offworlder. We may have to hold them off alone until backup arrives. Kill the Royalists! Back again, Offworlder? I'm sure you have a Starport visa. If I were you, I'd leave before too many more beast cages are stacked in the streets. We certainly do. He and several other people were picked up in connection to a murder. Captain Sulio. She was in charge of the Starport checkpoint. A good soldier. Your friend was one of the last people that saw her alive. So far, he's just a suspect. 
But if he did it, the punishment is death. Dagon Kent is the only person I know with the contacts to help us out. We need to get Dagon out of custody. Until we either eliminate him as a suspect or find the real killer. Dagon has quite a record with the authorities. The Colonel thinks that murder isn't too far a stretch for someone like him. No way. We're under orders to make sure no one sees the murder suspects. Command is taking this very seriously. I know Dagon personally. He's one of the worst doctors I've ever heard of. But I can't see him deliberately killing someone. He was one of the last people seen with Captain Sulio in the cantina. Ask around there. I've heard he's got a good motive for killing her. If you can somehow clear that up and prove it wasn't him, the command will cut him loose. If I say any more, I'll get in trouble. Stay out of trouble. Nizamanta, you my lord of water, no sanastika. The wancha more chiwa, mufalawa, ni bobo, we wish no tuna sita, dorto ni soba wata. Chone mulera, don't in the bano jansata, nicaraska. Tanja nik de mawimbo granda mi bila. Kava dumpa munsuru kupla liyawa. Bo bagaragawanda yaitua ulwanji uma. Kawana bota yuta tanga kiamatura. Tayaita ta bosana nansata. Chone mulera. Tonkinge bano jansaga nikaraska. Tanja nik de mawimbo granda. Gavadumpa Munsuru Kupla Li. Welcome back. My deck is still warm if you're up for bazaar. Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk about? She did? Oh no, by the four moons, what a mix-up! They got it all wrong. Dagon and Sulio were good friends. It's just when they got a little too much Juma juice, they'd carry on. They'd call each other all manner of things. It could get quite hilarious, really. But it was just friendly banter. That night, Sulio was in great form. Dagon and I were laughing about some of the choicer ones later. Yellow Tooth Dung Dweller. We bought her a couple of drinks afterwards. It may look strange on the outside, but it was just their habit. Their way of passing time during these dark nights. Listen, if the soldiers think that's a motive, they just didn't do enough digging. That bit of information will help with clearing Dagon. But the Andoran military won't let him off that easy. They're very obstinate. Maybe some of these people will know more about what happened that night.
Greetings, Master. Do you have any interest in my goods? One B A D. This room is reserved, off-worlder. <laughs> if you ask me, she got what she deserved. We were only in the cantina at the beginning of the evening. We were doing the rounds afterwards. <laughs> it was pretty late, and I heard this loud bang. I was in the alley behind the doctor's office. When I came up on Sulio, she was already dead. I saw Dagon and Nico there, and there was also some rabbit around. The noise attracted a lot of people. Nico would know more. He was first on the scene. I know his face. It's about. Welcome back. My deck is still warm if you're up for bazaar. Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk about? I was cleaning up stakes from a particularly rewarding bazaar game when I heard a loud sound outside. I grabbed my blaster and went out the door. When I got out, I saw Captain Salio. She was quite dead. Blood was everywhere. I heard a noise and saw Dagon Ghent coming from his office across the courtyard. We both waited for the authorities to get there. 
The next day, they picked up Dagon and several other people in the area. It's crazy to think he did it. Celio was our friend. Just outside the door by the jungle. It might be a good idea to look at the crime scene. We fought many soldiers in the Mandalorian Wars. The Andoronians were certainly brave, but they were disorganized, stupid. I wouldn't be surprised if they overlooked something. Nobody we talked with mentioned the droid. This droid was destroyed recently. Someone inside the cantina might know more. This room is reserved, off-worlder. <laughs> if you ask me, she got what she deserved. She looked down on us beast riders. Good riddance. That Bith keeps buying droids, and the scavengers keep stealing them or blowing them up. Seems he's finally given up. The waitress is awful, but she's more fun than his droids ever were. I wouldn't tell you even if I knew. I could tell you where you could find the parts, though. That western square has the perfect fence for droid parts. There's a droid vendor called 1B8D. That droid is as dumb as a Gamorian. He'll buy anything because he's too stupid to do anything else. 1B8D is quite handy. Quite a few of the slum dwellers make a good living salvaging droid parts for him. He might have even bought some. Master, do you have any interest in my goods? Entity Behema unknown. I have many serving droid parts. The market rate for those parts would be 25 credits. Thank you for your business. Kim from the cantina could probably do something with this. We should head back. Hello there. What is this? Oh my, she's dead.
Kawana bota yuta tanga kinamatura ta yaita ta bosana nansa. You're that swoop biker, right? My friend says you're back again, Offworlder? I'm sure you have a starport visa. If I were you, I'd leave before too many more beast cages are stacked in the streets. That's an air defense tower. Towers like these were built to protect us against Drexel and their beast riders. Stay out of trouble. Welcome back. My deck is still warm if you're up for bazaar. Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk about? If it'll help Dagon, you got it. There's no way that Dagon could have done it. I saw him coming from his office. That's the opposite direction of the marketplace. We should go talk to Captain Riken and clear all of this up. Nico, is it? And the Offworlder. What brings the two of you here? That's a bold statement. I assume you have some sort of proof. It's a long story, so bear with me, Captain. The night of the murder, I was playing Pazak. It was a prosperous night. That should do it. We still don't know who killed Sulio, but this will greatly assist our investigation. You have been ordered off this investigation, Captain. I hope you can explain yourself. I had nothing to do with this, sir. This citizen found information about Captain Sulio's murder. It's material to the investigation. We've already got our man. Sulio and this Ghent were fighting the night she was murdered. He had ample motive. Have you read the report? Some of the things Sulio called him were vile. Sulio and Dagon clearly hated each other. You expect me to believe... It's absolutely true, Major. I was a friend of both of them. 
They've done this dozens of times. Fahima, the bartender, can confirm it, as well as half a dozen other people. They were an odd pair, but they certainly didn't hate each other. I see. Well, there's still the fact that he was right there at the scene of the crime. So what? What matters is who was there first. An eyewitness said he came from his office almost immediately. The only thing that matters to me is that he was within blaster range when Sullio was killed, and he did not have an alibi. You have a recording? Well, I'm sure you're just misinterpreting it. I've seen it myself, Major. Nico isn't the only one that spotted Dagon coming from his office. It really can't be Dagon Ghent. The real killer is still loose. Very well, Captain. Set Ghent free, then. But if later it turns out that he did do it, it's gonna be on your head. The men will be working on getting Dagon Gan out right away. The Major sure isn't happy. You're quite a team. Together, you got the Major to back down. That's no small feat. The investigation has been handled at the highest levels. I've heard there's been some concern about that. With Dagon free, I don't know if the investigation team will find another suspect. They haven't been as diligent as other investigators. I'm not gonna say any more. Probably said too much already. If you head over to Dagon Gent's office, some men will bring him there shortly. Thanks for clearing this whole thing up. I could tell the justice wasn't being served, but we all have our orders. We really need to patrol that sector better. Thanks for getting me out of there. As detention cells go, it had definite class, but I prefer being out on my own all the same. I owe you and Mandalore one. We go way back, way before he became Mandalore. In my experience, Mandalorians always know about the doctors around. For some strange reason, they keep getting into scrapes. You want to know more? Ask him yourself. Wrong place, wrong time. Captain Sulio and I were acquaintances. I just happened to be too close when she got dead. Real shame. She wasn't bad to look at, and she could drink. No, and at this point, I don't care. Just glad to be free. She's dead now. Not like finding whoever did it will bring her back. I deal with death all the time. We all end up like her eventually. Not many people can help you out with that. There have been several assassination attempts on Queen Talia. That place is locked tighter than a hut's fall. I know a few people, though. Who do you need to get in touch with? The Jedi Master, you say? Now that is interesting. There's quite a bounty in Jedi these days. Not that I'm looking to collect, but there's a master there. I think I know who it is. I'm not certain, otherwise I tell you. But the man I'm thinking about is smart, likes to stay in the shadows, and is cryptic as hell. If he isn't a Jedi Master, he should become one. There's a slight problem with that. I know you don't want to hear that since you went through all the effort of springing me out. The thing is, scavengers have already looted most of my stuff. Most of it's garbage anyway, so I don't care too much. But I did have a couple of encrypted holodisks that they nabbed. So here's the punchline. I need those disks because they have some contact information on them. People I know you don't just walk up and chat with. There's a procedure, and that holodisk has the procedure. But Kel's gang pretty much owns this street. From what I hear, she's the one who cleaned me out. She's in the local cantina most days. She's tough as Drexel leather and more dangerous than an angry cookie. You take Mandalore with you, though. You should be just fine. Just get me the encrypted all of this. After that, if there is a Jedi Master in the palace, I'll get you a meeting with him.
What do you want here, Offworlder? The room is taken. The whole cantina is taken. You should leave. What's it to you? You? And just how do you intend to do that? It isn't for sale. I warned you, Offworlder. Kill him. Nossa, Inês um solto. Captain, you're back. Please tell me you have an open starport visa. Thank the Four Moons for your kindness, Offworlder. I only wish I had some way to thank you. But my children and I will never forget your kindness. Hurry, children. We get to go on a spaceship, thanks to the Captain. We get to... found the encrypted holodisks yet. I won't be able to get a hold of my contact from the palace without it. Great going there. 
With these, I'll check my contacts at the palace. I should be able to get a meeting with your Jedi Master shortly. You got anything you need to take care of in the quarter, you best do it now. You're dealing with serious politics by contacting him. If things go bad during a meeting, you may not be welcome in ISIS anymore. Perhaps never. Just let me know if you want to go through with this. Yeah, yeah, I'll get on it. Just grab a cot and rest a bit. Once I get a meeting time, I'll let you know. Is this meeting a trap? I can't afford to lose you, especially given recent events. Anything could be a trap. Baklu is no fool. But if the message is true... Is this necessary? I can guarantee your safety in the palace, but outside these walls, the General has many men that would do anything for him. Nothing in life is certain, Your Majesty. But I feel something. There is a disruption in the Force. I must investigate this. Very well. But please, be cautious. Aren't I always? That's what I was afraid you'd say. Well, the meeting is on. Head straight to the cantina. You guys should be in there. And uh, no offense, but I hope I never see you again. You must have gone through a lot to arrange this meeting. The palace is a full battle readiness. Smuggling in a message is no small task. The famed Jedi Guardian. The Mandalorians counted on the fact it would be you, not Revan, who would lead the Jedi against us during the Mandalorian Wars. I wonder how we'd have fared against you. I thought you were killed fighting Malak during the Jedi Civil War. It seems my former student keeps curious company. Strange times lead to strange alliances, though. No, I survived the war, if only just. Why are you here? I imagine that you hold little love for any on the Jedi Council anymore, even an old friend. I'm not sure how well placed your faith is. I feared you would harbor dark feelings because of our treatment of you. You have to understand that it was a time of great uncertainty. We just learned that Darth Revan was back with an armada. Every Jedi that went with him was lost, corrupted, and as dark as their master. And there was you. Many thought you were a spy. There's more to it than that. But I think you deserve an expert. Am I interrupting? In orbit, I thought for sure that the Ebon Hawk was mine. I was certain. Only to see you slip through my fingers during the battle. Imagine my delight to discover you were on Isis. Quite careless, if you ask me. Get them, men! And watch your aim! Civilian casualties cause a mess of paperwork. I must be the palace. I'll get word to you when I'm able. Run! What? What have you done to my men? Blast! Men, take care of him! I won't let Kavar escape! For the sake of subtlety, I suggest we avoid using grenades and any other weapons that may injure civilians in this battle. Yeah! <laughs> 
What? What's happening in the West Square? It sounded like battle. Command's ordered comm blackout. Do you know what's going on? What? Why? That makes no sense. Command hasn't issued any alerts. Are you sure it wasn't some of those Beast Rider slags? They've been getting bolder recently. You, you must be mistaken. Soldiers just don't attack civilians without orders. If it weren't for the comm blackout, I'd check with command. Just head to the safety of the Merchant Square, citizen. We'll send a patrol to investigate as soon as we can contact our HQ. Not all the military is after us. Still, Vaklu can throw a whole army at us. I think we've outworn our welcome over here. We should head over to the spaceport before General Vaklu invents some charges against us. Then we'd be in real trouble. You know what to do. Let's do it. Diagnostic is doing something strange. Target acquired. What the hell does that mean? Your visa's been scanned. You're cleared to leave. I'd leave right away. Things are going crazy in this quarter. The shuttle is just ahead. I think we should get out of here fast. It's gonna be some time before they forget about us here. No more trips to ISIS for us until the situation changes. A lot.
it back. The shuttle is going to stay docked here until further notice. I'm not ready to part company yet. It sounds like you have a lot of traveling to do. So do I. I'm going with you. The Sith have taken a particular interest in you, and you could use an extra blaster. I've been meaning to leave Duxon to look for other Mandalorian clans anyway. Mandalore leads all of the Mandalorian people, not just a single clan. In order to revive our people, the clans must be reassembled under me. They could be anywhere. You seem a magnet for trouble. Mandalorians are too. I have a feeling that if we travel together, it would work to our mutual advantage. But that's enough for now. We'll have time to talk later. The Ebonhawk is patched up and ready to go. When you're ready to depart, we can ask the guide here to take us back to the ship.